Hola estudiantes, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Saludos. So, um, I wanted to basically say welcome to my Spanish class. Así es que bienvenidos, bienvenidas. Mi nombre es Marilyn Rivera. And also, I wanted to take this opportunity to um, answer some questions that I have been getting uh, via email and show you a little bit more about Blackboard, okay? Um, it's, it's basically a very important that you see this week as an exploring week, okay? We are going to start playing with Blackboard, seeing um, how we get to some places, we complete some activities, and so on. Also, we, we are supposed to do the same thing with SuperSite, the Vista SuperSite, um, creating an account, getting into Professor Rivera, Professor, uh, Professor Rivera's um, page, ¿verdad? Uh, within the SuperSite. And um, also, we have to make sure that you are in the right level, okay? So we have several activities this week, basically to accomplish all of those, okay? Bien, so let me start by saying that the first, for now, the first uh, thing that you're going to see is announcements, okay? Every time that I post uh, an announcement, you will receive a message, okay? Uh, by email, okay, and it's important that you read all of those um, emails, okay, if you don't want to open the email, then you can come to Blackboard and access the post here, okay, but make sure that you read, because if you don't, um, if, I mean, first of all, this is an online class and this is how it's supposed to be um, how it's supposed to be okay i post everything then you read and then uh, depending on what is needed then you submit okay um and sometimes it's a very time consuming when i post all the information and then i get like 20 emails asking the same thing, the same thing, okay? So I prefer to pay a lot of attention to those emails that are uh, extremely, you know, important because the information is not there in Blackboard, okay? Uh, or the person is confused or something like that. But it's extremely important that you um, take the responsibility, okay, to go to Blackboard, explore Blackboard, be acquainted with everything, okay, and then be able to manage, okay, on your own. Because all the information, like usually, I will say 95% of the times, because I'm a human person, <laughs> a human being, um, and sometimes I click like, post but it's not posting blah 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 so but the majority of the time you will have all that information there and if i see an email asking for something that is already posted i'm going to tell you check black blackboard okay go back to blackboard the information is there or something like that okay bien so that's that um if you need to contact me uh and you want to talk during office hours, uh, please email me, okay? Email me, and, uh, and then we will, uh, I will give you the information uh, to, to contact me, okay? Um, what else? And then we will have the weekly guide. Let me go here, and you're going to start seeing the uh, the material or the the goals that we have for every week 
Okay, so now we we are on week number one. So these are the requirements, pre requirements, okay, and the objectives and so on. Eventually, you are going to start seeing week number two, three, etc., etc. Okay. Bien, qué vamos a hacer esta semana? So what we are going to do this week? Now, after this week, I'm not going to post the meaning in English because you already know what is que vamos a hacer este fin de semana. I mean, <laughs> esta semana. Okay. Bien. So, let's see. Here, I asked for several things. Número uno is extremely important that you read the syllabus. You need to be acquainted, okay, with the syllabus and the course guide. So, you know what is expected, you know um, all the rules, okay, all the rules. Bien, after that, it's important that you submit the e-learning certificate. If you have no idea what is an e-learning certificate, you need to start by getting the orientation and so on. The e-learning certificate is telling me that you know how to navigate uh, through basically Blackboard, that you know, that you're acquainted with um, taking courses online. Okay? Bien. And it's necessary for an online course like this one. Okay? Because it's not Synchronizado, okay? We're not connected by Zoom like during last semester because of the pandemic. This is an independent process, okay? As a student, you complete the material within the period that is already um, stated, okay? And that's it. You decide when to complete these within that period. If you want to work at 3 a.m. in the morning, because that's when you are free, you are more than welcome to study at that time. And the only thing that you have to make sure is that you complete everything uh, on the due date. Okay? Once that is done, we are fine. You manage your time. Okay? And that's part of being a college student. Bien. So once you have your e-certificate, you click here. You see the icon. Then you, you click on the link that is next to the icon. And then you submit your um, e-certificate. It can be a PDF. Um, form or a document or it can be a screenshot, okay? But make sure that it's submitted via Blackboard. Do not email me. I get tons and tons of emails and sometimes I get lost, okay, within those thousands of emails, okay? Um, so everything has to be submitted via Blackboard. Besides that, I mean... Um, once you submit your assignment, Blackboard is going to remind me, hey, Professor, uh, Pepita um, already submitted her work. Please grade the, the activity. And then I have to do it, okay? If you email me that, and then I'm not able to open your, your file or whatever at the moment, I lose track okay and no to avoid that and give you um basically feedback or give you the grade as soon as possible we are going to use blackboard okay bien then photos i have seen already some photos through um profile photos of you some of you uh via um, voice thread excelente okay do um do that for Blackboard, do that for the VHL, okay? So we can see each other, okay? Bien. And then I can recognize you and start uh, knowing my students. I love to, to know my students, okay? And then the tutorial, how to use VoiceThread. 
okay it's important to come and click there you see this section over here then it, this is the one that you click now sometimes some of these links those are very tricky i know this one is the one that you're going to click where it says voice thread number one at the top i don't know i, I honestly i don't know what happened with the icon that was here but usually there is an icon here that says voice thread and then you have the link next to it okay so make sure that you hit the link okay and it's important that you read what is the task and the steps paso uno paso dos paso tres those are the steps and sometimes i add at the at the bottom ojo means pay attention ojo means i literalmente ojo verdad pay attention um eventually i'm going to ask you for voice threads in which you cannot read okay so you have to pay attention to the ojo section because there are some special instructions if you don't follow those instructions then unfortunately your grade um is impacted okay bien you see like here in this section it says ojo okay a lot of attention to when it says ojo okay and this is what an activity is, ha, is to have an idea of the spanish that you manage okay that you know uh, so avoid using dictionaries etc 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 okay if you go for example to your grades and on their voice thread number one you see a zero it means that um number one that i noticed that you are using some help like a translator uh and that you're reading something okay and that is called plagio and is actually penalized uh severamente in uh, in my class okay and the other option is that you don't belong to this course so if you see a zero don't panic if you just gave me your the, the spanish that you know don't panic um we have to make sure that for real this is your level okay because then i noticed that mm, that probably this is not the right course for you okay bien and remember uh before i move on to access voice thread you click here okay click here to if you need to know how to basically operate a voice thread you click here because this is the tutorial okay um what else i think that's it about voice thread make sure that you hit submit after recording okay so i can see um your uh your activity okay do not create new voice threads uh, pages you don't you don't listen to me you don't need to create a voice thread a voice thread account because this is included okay with uh, blackboard in blackboard okay and then about the textbook then you click here once you see the file there it means that you have to click because then you have several things there that's the picture of the book make sure that is the sixth edition make sure that is the correct ISDS um, the price is a hundred and ten 110 um this is the link if the link is not working copy and paste and if that is not helping change the browser okay try to use another browser um try to uh see what is going on on your behalf because it seems that the link is working okay some students are ready uh, had access to the to the link 
bought the book and they are already registered okay in my course in the super site here are some instructions okay i posted here a photo of this section is basically something that you're going to see okay it's pretty similar to the one that you're going to see on the the link uh, to buy the book and then how to buy the book you see a lot of links a lot of um, a lot of help here so you have to click on them and just spend time this is about time this is a class that requires time okay being in finally how to create an account okay and activate 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 your code make sure that once you um once you know that this is the right course for you you buy the book okay you have to make sure that this is the right course for you. If you haven't taken uh, taken Spanish before, yes, this is your course. Um, so you uh, you let me know that, okay? And if you have taken some Spanish in high school or middle school, or you learned Spanish because you traveled or because your family right? they know Spanish and they talk to you but you don't know how to you know write it down or things like that you have to take the placement test okay bien uh, and then of course you buy the book and proceed with the other activities okay bien let's see let's go back and that's about the book and then escritura okay so usually we are going to have a lot of activities uh, on the super site okay of course you have to study before doing them before completing them because that's how it works and then once you have completed the activities that you have practiced, um, the grammar that you're able to manage, uh, that you're able to put together what you learned, then you come to Blackboard and complete numero uno, voice thread activity, and numero dos, writing activity, okay, in Spanish, okay, and then again, you read uh, the task, what is the task, pasos, etc etc and ojo remember the ojo okay ojo do not translate etc etc again if you see a zero for this activity this week or on another week no uh, probably is because well this week because this is not your level or numero dos because i noticed People, let me tell you something. I have been teaching this course for several years. Mm, I think more than 16. I stopped counting already. And as soon as I see a passage, a paragraph, I can tell. I can tell. Okay? So if I see that you are basically translating or copy from another place, blah, 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 I'm going to notice that and uh, immediately you get a, a zero so you get more points for trying okay and then i'm able to explain why you're doing that incorrectly and how to improve but if i'm not able to um, ident identify the mistakes then i'm not able to teach you okay so stop being afraid of making mistakes that's normal i just this is a level in which I expect a lot of mistakes. So do not worry. Try your best, okay? And if at the end your, your grade is not so good according to your standards, relax. Because 
I pay a lot of attention to improvements and then I'm going to give you a lot of feedbacks okay so make sure that you open the feedbacks um, on Blackboard uh, the grade in the in the grading part in the grading area make sure that you read my my comments okay and then this section is um, oh by the way to have access to this section again at the top okay you click here then you get to the activity and then pledge <laughs> this is funny because I had to do this um, a lot of students they come to this class they know some some uh, some Spanish and um, at the not at the end but in a few days I'm able to, to tell hey you told me that you didn't know Spanish but suddenly you're like mi tío mi tía aquí hablando español blah, 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 blah. okay and then uh, it gets very serious because then uh, you have to be out of the class somehow uh, at that moment there is not another option for you, another level. So then, no classes de español at all. And that's not cool. Okay? So you don't want to spend your time. Okay? Make sure that you were placed in this uh, level. Okay? By the modern languages department, not by any other advisor. And if you are not sure, talk to me I'm the professor I'm the one who knows okay and uh, and if you need help uh, trying to find your, your the, the right level for you you can talk to me or you can go to the BMCC portal and then take the mother languages uh, the mother languages department placement test okay. Again. and once you know what is your situation you click here and then you tell me professor um, I haven't taken Spanish at all I don't know Spanish and then you put that there you state that and then we don't have any problems okay Bien. and of course by completing uh, I mean you need to complete all these activities okay you will see that I'm going to grade them uh, imagine getting a hundred for telling me that this is your right level because you took the placement test or you haven't uh, taken Spanish before. That's a hundred already there. Take advantage, people. And then this is again, I, I created a copy of the same video just in case. And at the end, once everything is done, then you can start um, learning some expressions and some vocabulary. Okay, it's important that you pay attention to the pictures. Okay, pictures are going to talk to you. They are going to give you information. So try to understand what is going on. Okay, and um, and then read the dialogues okay read the dialogues try to memorize big chunkies big chunkies mean uh for example hola como estas the whole phrase and one suggestion uh is copy that on a flashcard right? and use English on one side and then Spanish on the other one very early in the morning the first thing that you do is try to get the translation or the meaning in English okay read the word in Spanish and try to guess the meaning okay um, during the, the day if you have two minutes one minute or something like that Review your flashcards and then at night time, 
this is an example so you can manage the time however you want but i'm giving you morning time because that's key for our brains is ready to get input okay so that's why i'm using morning uh, for this um, example and then at night time pay attention to those that you didn't get that or that are giving you a, a tough time no i don't get this at night time study them very hard and then go to bed it's going to somehow it's going to start getting into your memory okay so we have to find a way to place information in our long-term memory okay because that's how eventually we can produce the language okay if i for example if i open the book i read very quickly i complete an activity by looking at all the meanings here and blah 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 there is not an activity there is not a, a process in my brain that is forcing me to place that information in my long-term memory therefore when it's time to do an activity that doesn't re well that you cannot use for example the textbook then you're going to have a, a lot of you know trouble especially for the for the quizzes okay because you are not allowed to use your book okay and also to record to be able to record your videos using the structures because then the information it's it's not there okay so you have to force yourself if you want to do good in this class to memorize and avoid using the book okay avoid basically moving info information from one place to another it, it means that if i have to complete an activity i'm going to complete the activity with all you know <laughs> all the vocabulary list with the meaning in english doesn't make sense try to force yourself okay and again for vistas the super site you can redo the activities many 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 times so force yourself okay and try and try and try until you get it until it's perfect okay remember the key in this course is time okay bien so and then at the end i give you like a list of all those activities that you were supposed to complete make sure that you go over it and say yes i did this i did that blah 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 okay and everything is completed okay estudiantes i think that's all for now okay if you have any questions besides the information that is already posted of course you are more than welcome to email me okay again try to avoid asking me information that is already posted okay bien um if for for the this is for the discussion board this section is to access the um, the writing section okay that's another way to access the the writing section uh so you will see it there okay you click here and then you click create thread and then you proceed to create your your activity and then make sure that you hit submitting at the at the bottom it's right here somewhere okay then uh let's see and mm -hmm, this is very common you're going to start um saying oh professor i don't have uh the spanish accents on my computer i'm not using it blah 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 
guess what people you are going to find them i think it's here let me see no not here here oh i guess it's not helping me oh, what is it here <laughs> Yay! There, okay? Next to the happy face, okay? So, next to the happy face, you're going to see the C, blah, blah, within a circle. And then here you can find all the accents, all the, all the things that you need to express your, yourself in Spanish, okay? Una E con acento, mayúscula con acento, la Ñ con, con, ¿verdad? con la tilde, etc., etc., okay? So now you know, okay? Bien. Okay, now I say adios, hasta luego. And remember, you need to post your pledge uh, before this Friday. The same thing with the voice thread and the writing, this one, okay? The writing activity, okay? You have until Friday, 11.59. Remember, our um, week is going to start on Tuesdays, okay? This week is an exception because I really need uh, to see if this is your right level as soon as possible. So that's why I asked you to submit these three things before Monday, which is usually the day that I... Um, request um, that I ask you to submit your work, okay? Our week is going to start Tuesday, Tuesdays, and it's going to end Mondays. And Mondays, usually, like 99% 99, 99 of the time, will be the due date, okay, at 11.59. So my suggestion, do not wait until Monday to submit your homework. Start on Tuesdays. Study the, um, the grammar. Study the vocabulary. Take Tuesday, Wednesdays, and probably Friday to learn that. And then same Friday, you start doing the activities. Okay? Uh, unless you want to start trying doing some activities, it's fine. Um, and then during the weekend, then finish with the writing activity and the voice thread. And the Sunday or maybe Monday, but I prefer that you do it Sunday, then do the quiz because every single week we will have a quiz. Okay? And then if I don't know, if something is, is not working, then we have time to fix it, we have time for you to submit, because it's not Monday, and then you are not panicking, oh, because I it's 11.50 and I have to submit this. No, avoid that, okay? Bien, hasta luego, ahora sí, now we say bye. Adios, chaito.